Python tutorial, Ramsey reset test. Multiple regression assumptions consist of independent variables correct specification, independent variables no linear dependence, regression correct functional form, residuals no autocorrelation, residuals homoelasticity, and residuals normality. This topic is part of multiple regression analysis with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't consider any type of forecasting, business, trading, or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Correct functional form consists of evaluating whether regression independent variables optimal relationship with dependent variable is linear or nonlinear. This is evaluated through Ramsey regression specification error test or reset linearity test, which consists of adding nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data as independent variables to original regression and assessing if nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data as independent variables are jointly statistically significant. For full reference, I recommend that you read Ramsey test for specification errors in classical linear least squares regression analysis published in the Journal of the Royal Statistical Society series in 1969. As a formula, here we have the example of a regression with two independent or explanatory variables in which the dependent or explained variable is equal to an alpha constant or intercept plus a beta 1 coefficient multiplied by the first independent or explanatory variable plus a beta 2 coefficient multiplied by the second independent or explanatory variable plus a sum from the first to the k number of nonlinear transformations of the corresponding gamma coefficients multiplied by the nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data plus these regression residuals or forecasting errors. And what we're testing is Ramsey reset gamma coefficients f statistic p value. If Ramsey reset gamma coefficients f statistic p value was less than alpha level of statistical significance, then regression had incorrect functional form with 1 minus alpha level of statistical confidence. On the other hand, if Ramsey reset gamma coefficients f statistic p value was greater than alpha level of statistical significance, then regression had correct functional form with 1 minus alpha level of statistical confidence. Great. So let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study correct functional form through Ramsey reset test with greater detail. Perfect. So here we are within Python IDE. In this tutorial, we'll be working within Python tutorial Ramsey reset test code file. So the first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we're going to import numpy SMP, then pandas SPD, and then from stats models, we're going to import regression linear underscore model as RG for our regression, tools.tools .tools as CT for the constant or intercept for that regression, and stats.diagnostic as DG for Ramsey reset test. The following step is to create data for Ramsey reset test. So here we create an object named data, which is equal to PD or pandas.read underscore CSV, and within it we have the path to that data file, which is found within data directory, and the name of the file Ramsey reset test data as a plain text file without CSV or comma separated values index column as date, and we parse those dates as true. So let's go ahead and open that data file. As we can see, we have a plain text file without CSV or comma separated values. The first column of dates dates with a monthly frequency from the beginning of 1997 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 20 years of data. Then we have stocks. Stocks corresponds to the dependent or explained variable, and it corresponds to SPY ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the standard and poor's 500 index. And this data corresponds to SPY's ETF investment vehicle, adjusted close prices, monthly arithmetic returns, adjusted close prices because they were adjusted for dividends and splits. Then we have all the independent or explanatory variables. We begin with monthly effective yield of one year treasuries, 10 year treasuries, high yield. Then we have monthly inflation or deflation of consumer price index, producer price index. Then we have prices, monthly arithmetic returns for oil. And last, we have monthly arithmetic changes of industrial production index and PC or personal consumption expenditures. So back into the code file, once we have the data ready, we can continue with Ramsey reset test. For this, first of all, to that data object, we're going to add a new column with a constant or intercept to perform the original regression. So data.loc, we open and close brackets, semicolons, because we're selecting all the rows, and the name of the new column is going to be const for constant or intercept, which is equal to ct feature from stats models dot add underscore constant to that data object. The following step is we create an object named IVAR, 
which is for the names of the columns for those independent or explanatory variables, which is equal to, we open and close brackets, and first we begin with a constant or intercept, and then we have all the independent or explanatory variables, one-year treasuries, 10-year treasuries, high yield, CPI, PPI, oil, industrial production index, and PC or personal consumption expenditures. So the following step is we are going to perform that original regression, which we are going to name REG, and it's going to be equal to RG feature, that's from stats models, OLS, which stands for Ordinary Least Square Capitals, and within it we have the following. First of all, the dependent is stocks, column, comma, all the independent variables, which is from that data object, we select IVAR, which is the object we created above, which includes the constant and all the independent or explanatory variables. Comma has a constant equals to boolean dot fit, we fit the regression. So once we have the original regression ready, we continue with Ramsey reset test. So we create this new object, which is named reset, which is equal to the G feature from stats models dot linear underscore reset. And within it, we have the following. First, REG with the original regression, comma power equals to two. So here for the Ramsey reset test, we are included, uh, including as independent or explanatory variables, that original regression squared faded values comma, test underscore type equals to fitted. So as mentioned previously, we're including for Ramsey reset test as independent or explanatory variables, those original regression squared fitted values, comma, use underscore F equals to true. Therefore, it's going to calculate the F statistic and the associated P value. So then we print the results. So we print the correct functional form, Ramsey reset test, we print a blank space, then we print Ramsey reset test, F statistic, the associated P value. Both of this will be printed with NumPy rounded for six decimal places, and for the F statistic, we print it within that reset object with dot F value, and for the P value in that same reset object with dot P value. So let's go ahead and run the code file. When you're doing it for the first time at any part of the code, you click the right bottom of the mouse and you scroll down into the code file name to run it. But as I've done it before recording this video tutorial, the name's already stored here, so I just go ahead, select it, and click run. Perfect. So here we see that the running console has been opened and we see the results being printed. Correct functional for Ramsey reset test. We have Ramsey reset test F statistic with the corresponding result and then Ramsey reset test value with the corresponding result. This is the p value as mentioned within the slides. Perfect. So now that we've finished studying Ramsey reset test, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading, or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we've finished this tutorial. Thank you for watching.